Hi guys, uh, this is Georgia. Uh, this is my second part of Unity Basic. Uh, I'm going to teach you some basics in this tutorial. Okay, I'm going to teach you the difference between the orthogonal view and perspective view. What is orthogonal view and perspective view? How to change in Unity? First, the default view in Unity is perspective view. To change the view in Unity to orthogonal, it's very simple. Just click the gizmo which is at the right top of the scene window. I click it and select perspective view. You can see the camera is changed to orthogonal view can change back to perspective view by selecting again and click perspective view okay the orthogonal view is also called as uh, uh, isometric view we used to call this also as isometric view well what is the difference between the orthogonal view and the perspective view major difference the major difference is you can see that again I'll show you again okay the major difference in the orthogonal view and the perspective view is the 3d object s does not have any depth information like the bow this two this two bow seems to be at the same distance from the camera in the orthogonal view but if you go to perspective view the object distance differ you can see the object this board is too far from the camera and this two this board is very near to the camera okay this is the major difference how we can get the orthogonal view in your game window to make your game as an orthogonal game or isometric based game so select your camera main camera in the inspector window enable the orthogonal checkbox you can see now this camera has been changed to an orthogonal camera you can see the output in game window you can see that here okay i'm going to change it back okay i don't want my game as an orthogonal or isometric camera based game next i'm going to teach you a very important concept in 3d world okay uh, every field uses this concept in their f in their production that is empty object empty object plays very major role very very important role in all the uh, production of of 3d world like a visual effects people also use the mc empty object animation rigging all those people use the empty object so i'm going to teach you how to create an empty object so i'm going to go to game object create empty object now you can see i have created an empty object the empty object contains only the transform property okay that is x position property rotation property and scale property okay it does not have any other properties like uh, rendering mesh filter all those stuffs but you can add this properties to the empty object by component mesh mesh filter okay so i'm going to give some mesh detail information to that so i that but you cannot see any mesh rendered in the empty object to make it to render so I'm going to go to component mesh and I'm going to write the attach mesh render to the empty object okay I have attached it now you can see a barrel is there for the object let us give some material to it so I'm going to material mesh render in the material slot I'm going to add some material okay and add some material for it okay next I'm going to teach you a very important concept called prefab. 
A prefab is also a asset in uh, in a game in Unity. You can insert the prefab to any num any scene in Unity. You can insert n number of um, uh, into n number of scene in Unity. Okay. Uh, the prefab can be inserted into your scene by instancing the prefab. Okay. You cannot directly import the, or I can say, you cannot move the prefab directly to the screen. When you move the prefab to the screen, it will be instantiated. Okay, uh, it is not the prefab; it's an instantiate of the pref prefab. Okay, I'll show you right now. So, object I'm going to make it as barrel. My Prefab. Okay. I'm going to my folder. I'm going to create a new prefab. I don't want this. Create. Go to just select the pre folder which you want to create. So go to create and select prefab. So I'm going to right my prefab okay now I'm going to connect this uh, object to my prefab so first you check this icon of my prefab it is in white color after connecting this object to this prefab it will change into blue color on the letter of this prefab will also be changed into a blue color which indicate that this object is is converted into a prefab so i'm going to convert it just click and drag it sorry just click it and drag it over the my prefab now you can change you can see that it is be changed into blue color and if i delete it it is not going to affect this prefab so i'm going to delete this object from my scene now this prefab is common in unity game you can use in any scene okay i'm going to insert it into my unity scene that is level one which you i call this scene as a level one you can see an instant of the prefab is, is inserted not this prefab okay so i can duplicate this instant at many time as i can so i made a duplicates okay if i change a property in my prefab the entire instance of this prefab will be also be changed like i'm going to change the material like you can see the prefab material of the instance is also be changed okay i'm going back to it okay what happens if i change the property of an instance okay now i'm going to change let us see what is going to happen in our game if i change a property of an instance in my scene it is not going to affect my prefab but if i change the property of my prefab it will affect all the instance which is made from that prefab okay next i'm going to teach you how to make this object as a physics based object in unity or in game world we used to call the physics object as a rigid object okay i'm going to make this as a rigid object so i'm going to make attach a rigid component like add component physics i'm going to attach rigid now this object is become a rigid object okay before that a menu has been appeared okay i will show it again to you what is that menu says so i'm going to uh, select the another prefab okay instance of the prefab i'm going to a component physics rigid body now the menu says that you are going to lose the prefab connection between this instance and this prefab if you say add it to continue it now you can see that the letters of this prefab is changed from blue to black this indicates that this prefab 
is no longer an instance of this prefab. If you change the property of this prefab, it's not going to affect these two objects. Okay, because this two object is not connected to this prefab. So I'm going to back to my material. Okay, now I don't want this two object for object. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to make this as a physics based that is called rigid object. I made attach a rigid body to this objects. Okay, I'll make this uh, mass of that rigid body to 0 0.1. Okay, I'll teach you in next tutorial. I'll teach you what is rigid body and all this informations. Okay, so I'm going to click play. The game starts now. Yeah, now the game starts. You can see this. Uh, you can see that the object, the two banners, as is not die in our game. What happened to that? Because we have attached only the rigid body. We have not attached the collision object for this prefab. Okay, uh, it's not a prefab right now. I can call this as a banner. Okay. So to make this object to collide with the other object in this world, I'm going to attach a color collision object. So component physics, I'm going to attach box collider. So I can see now we can see a, a box is thrown in around this uh, object. I'm going to do the same thing for this parallel also. Okay. Always try to use a simple object a simple object as a collision object for them uh, of ob uh, object asset in the unity because you can make the uh, the box collider into like uh, physics like sphere collider can also be attached to this object but the object uh, collision the sphere collision does not react well for this barrel. Let us see what happens when we attach a sphere collider for this object and a box collision for this object. Okay, I'm going to play it. You can see the difference right now. Okay. See the difference how it's rolling. It does not it does not look like it's not a barrel physics. It's like a sphere physics. It's like a object reacts like a sphere. Okay. So always be careful when you attach a collision for collision mess like collision collider of an object must be assemble the properties of that object structure okay i'm going to change this to my box collider i'm going to replace it now i'm going to play it again see the reaction see now yeah now it's look like a barrel okay Okay. Okay guys, I'll go I'll meet you in next tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye. See you.